I've made another project to uh, adapt this 20 volt max black conductor battery to uh, an older style black conductor drill. Let's see, it's, this is an 18 volt drill, it's a 20 volt battery, but it, it will work okay. You just have to keep in mind that uh, these drills don't have low voltage shutoff for these lithium ion batteries, so as soon as the the drill starts slowing down significantly, you need to charge the battery so you don't damage your battery. This is going to be a video on assembling the uh, adapter. It adapts the drill that used to take this battery to uh, this battery. I'll take the adapter off. There it is with its battery. Here is the uh, adapter by itself. There is a commercial product that uh, does this. Uh, I bought one. I have it around here somewhere. I was going to show it, but it's not at hand right now. But I'll put a link, an Amazon link, to if you just want to buy one or about $15. It'll do the same thing. Uh, to build this, you need some... Uh, 0.8 millimeter or 32 thousandths brass shim or brass sheet metal but you'll have to cut out some terminals but they're pretty easy to uh, cut out the easiest way to get this terminal is just to take an old battery of it like this apart which if you have these drills you probably have a battery or two laying around but I will provide a template in case you had to make uh, these out of brass but this is it's definitely easier just to take these out. That's the way I designed uh, this to use. I'll find my uh, screwdriver and take it apart and show you what's in it. I found my screwdriver. All these screws are three millimeter by twelve millimeter long. We take it apart. Here's the little uh, latch mechanism. This has a spring from a Harbor, Harbor Freight spring kit. It's 32 by 9 or so. It comes in a kit. It looks like this. You buy it at Harbor Freight. You probably get them some other places. It has all different kinds of springs in it. There is a little screw in the front that holds this uh, terminal receptacle. I like to drop things on the floor. This pops out. And here's the assembly. These are the, the uh, contacts you get if you take apart one of these batteries. You just have to take these screws out to get them out. I provide a template for cutting out these brass pieces. They don't have to be too accurate. One of mine is not very accurate at all. I have the uh, polarities marked on the parts. When you assemble it, I put a line in here. These lines, you need to keep your wires uh, separated by that line. The reason for that, I decided to put this little uh, barrier to keep in case the, uh, one of these wires comes unsoldered. It won't short to the other one. I did that as an afterthought almost after I got to looking at it. I thought, well, that might not be the best if one of those wires short, short it, broke off and shorted together. So to assemble it, you cut out these. You cut your wires to length. These are the original wires that were on the, uh, the uh, this battery. You press these in there. Good. You find, figure out how it what length you need for the wires. You don't want to solder the wire onto this brass piece while it's in this PLA part. 
They'll probably hand it to you to print it apart because this brass gets real hot because that's to absorb a lot of heat for that to solder. So after you've figured out your lengths and your orientation, you do that with this separate like that. These were already soldered, of course. Then you get them, when you get, finally get them where you're happy with it, where they're, you've got the room for that barrier to set in there. Now you're going to want to take uh, a couple of pieces of PLA. These holes right here are for alignment. I'll show you what they do. You, you put the PLA through there, get that lined up. These are just these are just realignments that are going to come out as soon as we get it assembled. Hook it through there, get everything together. These are held in by just being pressed down by here. I will press probably not the right word. They're just captured by it. They'll float around in there a little. And you can put this on like this. Well, first of all. You need to put your latch in and your spring. Spring, latch. Make sure it seats down there good all the way around. That all seems to be working. Now you can uh, put your screws back in. Three millimeter by 12 millimeter. I think I said that already. And this, you can take these out now. That's captured. Put this screw in. This is probably unnecessary, this screw, but I designed it in originally before I had the method of capturing that receptacle. And that should be good. If you have your meter, you can put it on here and check you got your 20 volts here. I don't have my meter handy right now. works a few more things about assembling it when you print it you're going to want supports here and here very easy to get out though surprisingly and uh, I believe you just print this with supports everywhere I believe that's how I did it this one here prints like this and you want supports in here. Uh, I don't, Windows is doing something. I don't believe there's supports anywhere else. I was able to blend this all pretty well. Pretty happy with that. I was. I thought the latch mechanism might be harder to get to work, but it was actually pretty simple. Uh, the other thing about printing it, it's important that you not, but this gets printed, this latch mechanism gets printed on its side so that the layer lines run, so that your strength, you'll have your strength you need and it won't just shear off right here. I'm not sure there's any other way to print it though. I have printed it without supports, I believe. I think that's about all I wanted to say. Uh, screws, brass sheet, spring those are the parts you need just pay attention when you're slicing it so that you get you don't have support somewhere you can't get them out these were pretty easy to get out though all in all it's a pretty useful project it started with this soldering iron project and went on to my I had a ryobi adapter too they've all been pretty useful so i think this will be too well, thanks for watching.